My next book highlight is How to Steal a Dog by Barbara O'Connor. How to Steal a Dog takes place in a small town called Darby, North Carolina. Although Darby is a real place in Wilkes County of North Carolina, it is not near Fayetteville as referenced in the book. The story is about Georgina's plan to get her family out of a tough set of circumstances. I thought we might have an interview with Georgina to see just how the steps to her plan, How to Steal a Dog, worked out. Hi Georgina, how has life been treating you? Pretty terrible. I hate all the things that have happened to my once happy family. Are you able to share just how terrible it has been? Well, it got so terrible that I decided to steal a dog, hoping to get $500 reward money to help my mom pay for a new apartment. Sorry to hear that. It must have been rough. I can see how you were desperate. But what made you decide to steal a dog? I saw a missing dog sign tacked up on a telephone pole. I stared out the window at that sign thinking and wondering if there were other folk out there who would pay money to get their lost dogs back. I was going to steal me a dog. Did you get anybody to help you? I wanted my best friend Luann to help me, but I was too afraid that she would tell my secret to an adult and then I'd be in real trouble quick. I told my brother my plan. Listen, we're gonna find us a dog that somebody loves so much, they'd pay a reward to get it back. My brother Toby said, Okay, but how do we steal a dog? I didn't know. But after school that day, back at the car, I took out my notebook with the glittery purple cover, opened it to a fresh page, and started my notes on How to Steal a Dog by Georgina Hayes. It was dated April 5th. You sound like you put some thought into it. Well, I tried. But things kept coming up that I hadn't thought about. And I kept adding to the steps. Was it easy to find a dog? Toby and I walked up and down the streets and saw three or four possible targets, but I knew they wouldn't work. Then on Whitmore Road, I saw a house that looked like a mansion. I couldn't hardly believe my eyes. There in the bushes along the porch was a dog, a little black and white dog. Then a voice came through the screen door, Willie. A big fat woman came out onto the porch. Toby, I said, I think we just found us a dog. Did you take the dog right then? Of course not. On April 6th, I came up with another step and then later after school, my brother and I went to visit the house on Whitmore Road again. I snapped my fingers to get him to come over to the chain link fence. I pet him and scratched him behind his ears. He sniffed and then he licked, my, licked me a couple of times. Willie sure was cute and friendly. What happened after that? My mom came hurrying to the car the next night all excited saying we were going to move into a house. I sure was relieved to think that I would not have to steal friendly Willie after all. Moving into a house, that must have been wonderful news. Yeah, until I actually saw the house. It turned out to be an abandoned, broken down, cold, damp, and mossy house. There was no doubt about it. I really, really, really was going to steal a dog. If things didn't change soon, I was going to have to go back to my dog stealing plans. That's all there was to it. 
one day we came to the house and it was boarded up with a no trespassing sign on the door. Mom said we needed a miracle. When I asked her what kind of miracle, she said money mostly. Okay, that does it. I said to myself, I was going to have to steal that dog after all. I had to. It was the only way we were ever going to get ourselves out of this mess and live like normal people again. And that's just what I did. How was your plan going? On April 12th, I wrote step three. And on April 14th, I wrote step four. There was no doubt about it. I really, really was going to steal a dog. How did you steal Willie the dog? I whistled and I waited. Sure enough, Willie stuck his head out of that little doggy door. When, I, when he saw me, he dashed out the door and up to the gate. Hey, Willie, I whispered, sticking my hand through the gate to pet him. He stood on his hind legs and put his front paws on the gate. His tail wagged so hard, his whole body wiggled. He licked my hand like it was a T-bone steak. You want to come with us? I said. He cocked his head and peered up at me. And then I swear he nodded his head. If he could have talked, I was sure he would have said, Heck yeah, I want to come with you. So I switched my mind to off because my mind was telling me don't do it. So I switched my mind to off. I grabbed Willie's collar and I pulled him through the gate and onto the sidewalk. He kept wagging his tail and looking at me with his shiny black eyes. I took the string out of my pocket and tied it to his flea collar. Willie ran, al Willie ran along beside me. Every now and then, he leaped up on me and nipped at my heels like he was the most fun game that he ever played. Once in a while, he'd let out a little yip. How did the dog napping make you feel? I felt pretty awful at times, but I pushed those awful thoughts right out of my mind. Willie acted real happy, but Toby thought Willie was sad. I can't begin to tell you how Willie's owner felt. You just have to read the rest of my story to find out. Yes, we will. Thank you, Georgina, for talking with us today. Do you have any final thoughts you'd like to share with our audience? Well, yes. If you're feeling kind of desperate for money, whatever you do, don't steal a loving dog. You deserve to be happy, but the dog deserves to be happy with his owner most of all. And if you trust in good karma, you'll be okay too. I have no doubt in my mind that you will see that dogs have a real personality after reading any of these books. You may hug your own dog today for that personality that just warms your heart and makes you feel like life is worth living. If you don't own a dog, I predict you will want to just go out and get your own after enjoying these books. And if you don't like dogs, you may just change your mind. You don't have to like dogs to like these books, but I think you will.